I thought the conference speech was very measured and assured, and it was good the way that she, Nicola listed all the things that we do in Scotland that aren't done in England that Jeremy Corbyn might want to learn from. That was really good. Uh, it was good in terms of setting the tone of what kind of Scotland we want to build, but, you know, the balance between having the emotionalism of how we do in the marching and, you know, all this, the, the passion we're showing, the, the polls are moving our way. So she was quite good at saying, well, we've got to galvanise that to convince people who said no last time to say yes this time. Well, we're getting that. Absolutely nailed it. With, um, you know, total opposite from what Westminster's saying about just how um, fantastic Scotland is and the opportunities that we have here about going for independence and the, the, the resources that we've got. Um, and the, and she also, I really appreciated you. I think you would agree. Yeah, and I think that the, the way that, she, uh, she, that she's investing in our in our nurses and in housing, uh, and social right and everything, yeah. it's just that uh, she's doing the complete opposite to what the Tory government is doing yeah. in England. Uh -huh. show, show what, uh, even though we're a small country, we're uh, so prosperous and, yeah. we, and we are big enough to be able to make it as an independent country. The speech was excellent. I covered a lot of issues and. Uh, um, and I think the, the message was out there to the whole country. As usual, it was fantastic, it was insightful, it was awe-inspiring, confidence-building, everything that you need in a leader. I'm very, very happy with what the Scottish Government has done so far with limited powers, and I'm just so very hopeful for the future that we'll have more powers and that we can carry on in the, in the direction that we're going. I'm very proud to be Scottish. Uh, just got out of the Nicola Sturgeon speech. I think there was a lot, obviously there was a lot of anticipation and uh, a lot of desire on the part of the, uh, of the, of the membership to see uh, an actual date or an actual uh, you know, time when a referendum would be held. Uh, that was not given, but there was the absolute assurance that it would happen. Uh, but I don't think that Sturgeon is in a position right now to give a date because of the Brexit negotiations. Uh, so, you know, and there's too much uncertainty over that. But, uh, she, again, she gave a, a solid commitment that it would happen. It was an amazing experience, first time I've ever been to a conference. And I believe in our values and our vision, and I look forward to independence.